Peggy 16. This is our next map built from the ground up, Elsenborn Ridge. A lesser known but integral battle in the Ardennes 44 campaign of World War II. Set in the Belgian region of Bullingen, the US valiantly tried to hold their position in the small village of Wurzfeld, with territory exchanging hands multiple times between the US and German forces. Eventually driven out of Wurzfeld, the US moved on to Elsenborn Ridge, where they dug in throughout the brutal December of 1944. This is a map that caters to many playstyles and strategies. Let's take a look at capture points. On the northern part of the ridge, we have Gun Battery, a strong defensive trench network that the US forces utilized to set up their AA guns and fearsome Black Dragon artillery guns. Once settled, they rained heavy artillery fire onto the Germans down at Wurzfeld. This capture point allows infantry squads to hunker down while the armor squads emerge from the tree line. Placed north in the countryside, Farahilda Farm features a traditional livestock farm, with a blend of close quarters fighting within the farmstead and wide open fields for vehicular and long range combat. Infantry squads will have to make tactical decisions when crossing the open fields to reach safety. Armour squads will have high visibility across the vicinity here to cause a lot of damage. Attacking from south to north, infantry squads fighting over the fuel depot capture point will experience close quarters combat with danger lurking around every corner, while vehicles will have to provide support at a distance. The checkpoint was often featured in World War II to control the roads in and out of regions. It was key to controlling the main road in and out of Wurzfeld, so the Germans emphasised protecting it by using the nearby barn and protected hillside for storage and supplies. Its open fields are a haven for armoured vehicle support, while the hillside storage provides infantry with close quarters gameplay. The changes in elevation of the rolling hills allow armour squads to utilise their firepower. Moving on to German territory, Erolsdale Farmhouse includes a civilian themed farmstead, as one of the more relatively untouched areas by either forces, with a combination of enterable barns and buildings and contrasting wide open fields. Hinterberg is a forested area that the US forces originally held. The Germans bombarded it with artillery and burnt it to the ground, a key skirmish that forced US back to Elsenborn Ridge. The tricky terrain requires both infantry and armoured vehicles to use the landscape to their advantage. It's here where the sniper role can exploit the long distance opportunities. The US used the terrain to their advantage and created foxholes to set up traps for nearby German patrols. This capture point depicts a no man's land area, with hilly terrain designed to provide armour with good vantage points. We wanted to accurately convey the weather that affected troops in Elsenborn Ridge, who were subjected to freezing conditions and blizzards affecting visibility. We needed a system that could change throughout to reflect the unpredictability of these conditions. VFX particles were created consisting of various intensities of snow and we decided on a set of presets to drive the intensity of each level of snow. This meant we could tune each scenario in isolation to adjust the weather intensity and atmospherics. The VFX scenario was broken down into a set of presets, light snow, medium, heavy and blizzard snow. We added the probability of when the transition between each stage would occur to add enough randomness to it whilst ensuring the levels of snow to blizzard stayed synchronised and consistent throughout. Elsenborn Ridge will be available for all platforms this year in Update 16.